get some coffee, and look out, because I'm serious. Are you serious? They're talking about a major tsunami wave being predicted for the Caribbean nations. What? Are you serious? Yes. Chris Mundy and Frida Childers each have sent me information that I've uh, been studying on here as it relates to Caribbean nations are being warned to prepare for the giant tsunami. Now listen to this. I have a, three verses to read in the Bible that will confirm what they're saying. Here's what the scripture says. In Luke 21, 25, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations. And we've seen solar flares in the sun. We've seen the blood moons. And we've seen the comet Elenin and, and asteroids and meteorites and fireballs in the stars. And upon the earth, distress of nations. That's what's going on right now in the Middle East. Look what's going on in Tunisia, the overthrow, Egypt, Libya, Yemen, Syria. What? Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan. What's going on? North Korea, Iran and Israel. It's happening all over. With, so upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear of things, for looking after those things that are coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Are you serious? And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Let me go to you right now. The sea and the waves roaring a very significant part of this prophetic word. Now here's what it's, this article written <clears throat> in the link below. You can read it. The Caribbean nations have been warned to prepare for a giant tsunami. There's not been a, it's not an immediate danger as far as there was an earthquake and it's on its way and there's warnings going on. But it is a definite, immediate danger based on the seismic activity and the historical records of that region. They are due, due, overdue, and due, past due. On April 30th, which was yesterday, out of the Caribbeans, a leading expert at the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization <clears throat> is urging the Caribbeans and their 40 million people to be prepared for a tsunami two years ahead of a planned earlier warning system for the region. Watson Wright, Assistant Director of General and Executive Secretary of the UNESCO Intergovernmental Ocean Graphic Commission, has agreed with other leading tsunami experts that it is a case of when, not if. The region would be struck by a giant wave triggered by earthquakes and volcanic activity. Watson Wright notes that lurking beneath the uh, uzu, the waters on right below, there is a countless coastal land of islands and beaches and vacation spots are in potential devastating direction. They're right in the path of a potential tsunami that could literally wipe out 40 million people living in the region. Now you might say, well, Paul, I am so tired of hearing about your end time prophecies. And I just read to you the, from the Bible. Jesus even said in Matthew 24 that earthquakes are going to be happening in divers places all over the world. I have a list of earthquakes that happened today. Read of Oklahoma sent me. My Lord, look at this. This is just today. This is, you can almost any day. This is, this is a list of the quakes just in the last few hours. And matter of fact, 4.4 Guatemala. 4.9 Chile, 4.5 Fiji Islands, 5.4 Japan, 4.6 Chile again, 
4.8 New Guinea, 4.7 the Loyalty Islands, 4.0 Takakakistan. I don't ask me where that's at. Uh, 5.1 off the coast of Indonesia and the Sumatra Islands. 5.2 the Kermatic Islands. Folks, those are the big ones. Not count all the rest of them. We're talking, folks, earthquakes. Jesus said it's happening right now. So why should we be concerned about a giant, gigantic tsunami? When there's not even been an earthquake there. Because there has been, listen to this, since 1498, there have been at least 94 tsunamis. Now, that haven't been all gigantic. 94 tsunamis with causing 4,652 deaths in the Caribbean region. It's been quite a while now since they've had a serious tsunami. They are so overdue, they are so overdue that it's it's scary. And the seismic activity the, that's, that's causing the absolute dis, disruption of the Earth's crust is all around. And eventually you can ask the people of Japan, after having an earthquake on 3.11.11, so powerful that it rattled the teeth of Tokyo for over six minutes. 30 minutes later, here come a tsunami roaring ashore, moving the island eight feet, knocking the earth off its axis 4.8 inches, shortening the day by 0.1666 milliseconds. And then, coming ashore, the tsunami did, six miles. And now it's melting down six nuclear reactors. You don't think we even aren't living in a dangerous world? Folks, trust me, there's a volcano that's ready to slip into the ocean over there in the Canary Islands with an earthquake and volcano or volcano earthquake, which comes first, the chicken or the egg. In that situation, either one could happen first. They're both on the brink. If, it, the, if the volcano blows, it will create an earthquake, which will send a tsunami racing toward the eastern um, Seaboard of the United, of North America, from Nova Scotia, Canada, all the way to the tip of Brazil. It'll kill over 20 million people. If the earthquake happens first, blowing the, the, the volcano, the same scenario will take place. I'm telling you, they know this. Japan is a, is a time bomb. Why do you think they're looking to evacuate 40 million Japanese people to the Kuril Islands? Which, oh, by the way, they've been having earthquakes constantly, almost every day. The Kuril Islands is those uh, string of 56 islands between Russia and Japan. And Japan is thinking about moving 40 million people to those islands because of radiation. Speaking of radiation, there's a cloud of radiation coming toward California from Japan. Meanwhile, there's debris, tons and tons of debris beginning to wash ashore on the coast of California from Japan, from this big quake of last year. The global impact of what's taking place. The earth is literally breaking apart. It's like birthing pains of a mother giving birth. Jesus said the bride better get ready. The bridegroom is coming. In an hour you think not, the Son of Man will come. Watch and pray, he said, for I'm coming like a thief in the night. Matter of fact, the Lord's return is imminent. It's more, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm more concerned of the Lord's return. I'm more thinking, I mean, seriously, than even the tsunami first. And the tsunami is do, 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 overdue, and do. Folks, are you saved? Seriously. Lay aside your doctrinal differences. Don't start arguing. Don't start tripping over the tribulation. Start understanding that time is seriously running out. There are wars and rumors of wars. Nations rising against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Jesus said it. He said it in the word. He said it right there. The sea and the waves roaring. Are you saved? Are you saved? Paul, what do I got to do? You got to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You got to ask him into your heart. Repent of your sins. Be born again. Washed in the blood of Jesus. I can help you. Send me a personal message right here on this YouTube channel and title it. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. 